Nesu bergomba. Omong itu setelah para wangga. If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius' cult, then yes. Kutsi nan jihai jatongi ma kechu. Nu jaki jawa. Jotoge wangga joska. Tomi jakumka dumaji ta usa zalas uval. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. Kulirado kaki kon kaskon jidomba. Kagwachi ne koiga na nulio opa kisa spina perupa. Unan skapa. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius's right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the Great Dragon after how you did in Sabin. Look what I found outside. My lord, for getting Sabin off our backs and the crates off our streets, we humbly present you with this gift. I love getting gifts. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Kill one gang leader and already you got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait! I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? What on Narshadar is a ground quake? You know, when the ground shakes underneath you. They're pretty rare, so it'd be a big deal. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Narshadal Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. I can't wait to see the look on Palladius' face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector. Not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destra sent you. My lord, I... Did you want something? Just a little relaxation with my favorite female cultist. Um, well, I'm flattered, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just a computer girl. Palladius brought me on to handle his records, and then things went south with Destris, and the numbers didn't come out right, and, and suddenly... I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I shouldn't ramble. Maybe you'd like to show me the compound a little. Your favorite rooms. Um, yes. Yes, I'd like that. Let's do that. Um, yeah, so that was nice. Very nice. A little unexpected, but nice. But I guess you need to get back to work, don't you? I think I'll be up for another tour shortly. Well, um, you... you know where to find me.
Good luck talking to Gord Maydell and setting up the Groundquake. Greetings. I heard of your success with the Shadow Syndicate. I was hoping you might put those talents to work for me. My name is Mardell Felth, Imperial Intelligence, and I am here to stop a revolution. I've always thought huts were revolting. The huts are not known for their senses of humor. But they are not our enemy. This sector is home to alien refugees who escaped our slavers. They've never been a threat, but a new leader recently emerged. They call him the Flame, and we have killed him twice. Each time he reappears. The locals claim he is immortal. Is that possible? Only the Emperor himself can claim true immortality. But I'm not asking you to kill the Flame. Yet. Our only undercover agent in his gang was recently discovered and murdered. The Flame insisted the corpse be publicly displayed in Ranamar Square to taunt us. If they're baiting you, they want something. Oh, there's no doubt it's a trap. But they have bait we are hard-pressed to resist. Everything our agent found, all his notes, are pinned to the corpse in plain view. But every team I've sent to retrieve the records has come back in pieces. You may be the only one who could walk into this trap and survive. I'll give them pointers on the best pieces to send. Perhaps I was unclear, my lord. I don't doubt their skill at butchery. We need those records back. Admiral Dufand Ange is due to arrive today to speak with the Huts about this problem. Once you have the records, use this on the body to burn it. We can't have them use one of our own as a rallying point. Kimem Panino, Am Kabina Bek Memno Kimgan. Kampo Jakinano, Ki Nama Am Kabina Wam Wam Karak. Kikuna Mo, Uban Chone Alipa, East in Goto. Raka Kem you Am Kam Nemno, Namgan Bak Um Nok Ki Jak. Laboram Amka, Mamni Nika, Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam. I need to create a ground quake. Um look in umemnu, amka kam mem, perolak palak. Memu apangwana, kumi a yang mem gamba paka. Umo gala apayang, nila ma ini amka amga. It's so much more fun for me when you refuse. Manalang yang perlu, amka kalami na yakira lebua. Memyuka hal hal krama, nikno ka nalalu mem nulak. I'm sure they'll understand. Jukaki mem panino, amka bina bek mem no kimgam. Umluk inu mem no, amka kam mem perolak palak. Yang perlu amka, kalami naya kira nebua ripo. You'd better follow through on this. Umluk inu memnu, amka kam mem 
Pirulak palak, kam perim danam, bagi yang manik hikup bukam. Your trap's been sprung. Here are the notes. Let me see. Lasted rebels. The Flame is planning an attack on Admiral Jafand Ange. He can't know about this. I was supposed to... What exactly would you prefer I didn't know? Admiral Jafand? Sir, I apologize. This is... I know who you are, my lord. It is an honor to have one of your stature helping us on Narshadar. Are you more inclined than Agent Maddell to tell me what threat has just been posed? Does this come from the flame? Any idea why he'd have it in for you personally? The flame must know I've been communicating with the hut. I'm here to tell them the Empire will withdraw billions of credits of business from Nar Shaddaa unless they shut down this rebellion. Killing you would be quite a coup for the flame. We must teach him the folly of targeting the Empire. I invite you to come with me when I meet with the Huts. Your activities have made an impression on the cartel. What exactly do you expect from me? Accompany me to the meeting. Help the Huts see the wisdom of cooperating. If you're interested, I suggest you go first to flush out and destroy any of these rebels who might lie in wait. I leave for my meeting shortly. I hope to see you there. Knowing Admiral Jafand, I'd suggest you go now. He'll expect the route to his meeting to be cleared before he leaves. Welcome, my lord. I'm General Colvin, the mission leader here. If you have a moment, I could use your assistance. The Emperor has ordered me to unravel a great enigma in this sector, a complex constructed centuries ago by a Sith named Darth Revan. Upon its completion, Revan sealed a mysterious cargo inside, along with many alien slaves. Nothing has exited or entered since. The complex has sat for centuries and no one's gotten inside. Revan's security measures are exhaustive, to say the least. The complex is fortified with self-repairing automated defense turrets and a seemingly inexhaustible supply of assassin droids. It's amazing technology. We've spent over a decade trying to breach those defenses and failed. I'll just assume you're kidding. We lost over a thousand men until someone had the bright idea to send probe droids instead. We've lost another ten thousand of those. I've discovered that the complex's defenses draw power from reactors across this sector. The owners of these reactors are completely unaware. Unfortunately, they're also our enemies. Republic Special Forces, criminal cartels and mercenary armies. They'll never willingly shut down their reactors. Fortunately for you, manipulating power is one of my specialities. I bow before your superior cleverness, my lord. Finally, accessing Revan's complex means shutting down every reactor powering its defenses. If even one remains active, we'll never make it inside. Good luck. Ah, I'm glad I caught your attention. The Empire sent me to negotiate the exclusive sale of several new armor designs, but the sellers are driving an expensive bargain. I'd prefer to keep these credits in Imperial hands. How patriotic. I assure you, I'm keeping the Empire's best interests in mind. The gangsters who managed to liberate those designs are making a show of their willingness to sell the plans to the highest bidder. Either the Republic is willing to pay a lot more for these designs than we are, or the thugs are attempting to pad the negotiations. In either case, I'm done playing their games. I'd rather eliminate them and take the plans by force. Just show me where the fun is. Here's where the negotiations are taking place. They won't expect this, but they are heavily armed. Uka kampak nijit, tonka yiliska chanaga. O grani tampio da pushi wompa, pu tula musta. I've been on.